Serena's company is named in reverse. Sephora's new policy might make you curse. And for Claire's, it's just getting worse. I'm Jen from Jen Loves Reviews, and What's Been Makeup starts now. Welcome to What's Up in Makeup for March 18th, 2018. Let's get started with the top industry news. Research teams across multiple labs are working on validating models and methods that could replace animal testing for skin exposure. A combination of tests were performed on two artificial skin models to see if they match results of known in vitro tests or tests that don't involve living cells. 100% matching test results were found in four out of five labs with 70% matching test results in the fifth. Further validation across other test methods, chemicals, and laboratories are key for the models to make an impact on regulations. The validation process is ongoing but is promising for a cruelty-free future in the beauty industry. Beauty by Pop Sugar has arrived after over 18 months of planning and research. After taking input from the Pop Sugar community via a gigantic poll, the company developed multifunctional cruelty-free products which contain ingredients inspired by vacation destinations. Each has accompanying inspirational messages on the packaging. The Pop Sugar team is careful to represent their motto, quote, no bad stuff. Lisa Sugar, founder and president, expressed the importance of maintaining their mission and doing right by fans, stating, quote, inclusion is a cornerstone of Pop Sugar across the board, from our content to our staff and now to our makeup line. Pop Sugar is for everyone. We want people who engage with us to feel welcome and to know that we are thinking of them. And the same is definitely true with our makeup. You can purchase Beauty by Pop Sugar products on beautybypopsugar.com as well as at Ulta Online and in select stores. The next time you need to buy stocking stuffers, you may not be able to get them from Claire's. The mall jewelry, beauty, and gift store is rumored to be poised for bankruptcy. To make matters worse, they continue to deny the presence of asbestos in their cosmetic products, even after new research by nonprofit U.S. Public Interest Research Group revealed 15 current products contain the harmful substance. Claire's is reportedly struggling with failing mall locations, increased online competition, and a high debt load. Some rumors suggest the company may try to reinvent themselves, but the jury's still out. A pair of Sephora employees have brought a collective action lawsuit against the company requesting compensation for time spent upholding Sephora's makeup code of conduct. The filing states, quote, Sephora required application of a minimum amount of makeup and the maintenance of that makeup throughout the day without compensation for the time spent doing so. The employees claim that because of this makeup requirement, Sephora did not provide employees with the wages to which they were entitled. So Sephora recently revised their employee handbook to state their makeup code of conduct is optional, but adherence and restrictions vary by store. The request for certification was granted, meaning any Sephora employee who qualifies could be remunerated as long as all parties agree to the terms. Wet n Wild could be under fire for falsely labeling a product as vegan. Photos have surfaced on social media showing their mega last time-saving base coat nail polish with packing indicating the product as vegan but containing silk powder as an ingredient. No word yet as if this was a misprint on the packaging or if the labeling was intentional, but the ingredient is also listed online. Be sure to check ingredients when deciding on the vegan and cruelty-free status of your purchase. Companies that are known for their generous return policies are now thinking twice about being so accommodating. A service company called The Retail Equation is partnering with companies including Sephora to help identify customers who could be taking advantage of return policies. Sephora shoppers have reported on social media that they've received an email banning them from returns or were denied from making returns in store due to what Sephora calls a high return activity. When asked for a statement by RACT, the representative from Sephora noted, we we make every effort to accommodate returns, but a small fraction of customers take advantage of our policy, in many cases returning more than twice as much return merchandise as they purchase. This limits production selection and unfairly impacts other clients. Do you think these changes will impact shopper experiences? Let us know in the comments. World famous professional tennis player Serena Williams is setting her eyes on Rihanna and Kylie Jenner for her next big match. 
I'll explain. Serena filed legal documents in January to trademark Anarez, which is Serena spelled backwards, for 18 beauty categories. Lipstick, lip gloss, eyeshadow, powder, foundation, eyeliner, mascara, makeup remover, skincare, perfume, body lotion, shampoo, dry shampoo, hair rinses, hairspray, and gel, cosmetic cases, and makeup brushes. Serena already trademarked Anarez in 2016 for fashion-related goods, including clothing. George Sevier, principal associate at Gowling WLG law firm said, quote, using Anarez rather than Serena is a sound move apart from avoiding issues with other businesses already using the name. It allows Serena Williams to sell the rights to the brand without being prevented from using her own name in the future. Does more makeup equal bad leadership skills? According to a study led by Dr. Christopher Watkins of Aberté's Division of Psychology, published this month in Perception Journal, women wearing heavy makeup are less likely to be thought of as good leaders. Leaders. Random pairs of photos of women who were wearing a social event makeup, subtle makeup, or were makeup free were evaluated by judges, 186 male and female participants, to determine who they thought would be a better leader. The study found that regardless of race or age of the judge and the woman photographed, the faces without makeup were always perceived as being better leaders than those with social event makeup. The women's face had the amount of makeup applied altered by the computer software. Those with subtle makeup had slightly better scores, but were still ranked negatively against those free of makeup. The study demonstrated the effect of color cues in makeup, aka color cosmetics, but stated that products that don't make a color impact, such as foundation, mascara, or concealer, may not have a large effect. In contrast, a 2016 Harvard University research study found that women wearing makeup were viewed as more competent at their jobs and more likely to receive a promotion. Have you found that you've been treated differently at work due to your makeup? Share your story in the comments below. In events news this week, IMAT's Toronto will be held September 22nd and 23rd. From Oscar and Emmy winners to global editorial artists, a network of experts come to IMAT's Toronto ready to share their tales, their techniques, and their tips. General admission tickets are as follows. All amounts are Canadian. Before August 6th, one day ticket is $40. Weekend bundle is $60. After August 6th, one day ticket is $50, weekend bundle is $75. After September 21st is an at the door price, one day Sunday is $55 or the weekend bundle for $85. Now let's hop into the weekly product reports starting with Benefit Cosmetics Gold Rush Blush. It's a warm golden nectar blush available to Rouge and VIB members at Sephora, $29. Dior Show Plump and Volume Mascara Set is a mascara and primer duo at Sephora.com, $29.50. And here Here's a name you haven't heard of in a while. The pretty vulgar Phoenix Rising eyeshadow palette has 12 warm tone shades in a mix of matte, shimmer, and satin finishes. It's $35. Also at Sephora, the Velour Lashes Effortless Kit, a no trim, no measure, natural lash kit made for the newbie, $29. And the Viseart Petite Pro Palette 2 with a combination of matte and shimmer shades is $30. And from Laura Geller's iconic New York collection, Collection, the Madison Ave Eyeshadow Trio is simplicity with three coordinating shades of matte, shimmer, and metallic eyeshadows, $15 at Ulta. And you know Ardell for their lashes. Now they introduce a makeup line at Ulta.com. Sensual Eyes Eyeshadow Palette in six colorways, $12.99. Pro Eyeshadow Palette in two colorways is $14.99. From MAC at Ulta, Little MAC in Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash Mascara fits in your pocket, $12. Hint of Color Lip Oils is a lightweight gelled oil that melts into your lips to condition and comes in four shades, $17. From Smashbox at Ulta, the Cali Contour Palette is a six-well contour kit packed with cruelty-free highlighter, bronzer, and blush powders. It's $39. The Cover Shot Eye Palette in Punked is a purse size palette in darker shades, $29. Or you can choose the Cover Shot Neutral Set, an eye trio with palette mascara and liner for $34. And the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Waters are both at Sephora and Ulta. Each face mist was co-created with Nicole Concilio and is infused with electrolytes and a limited edition scent. You can choose from So Chill Coconut, Serene Greens, or Centering Citrus. They're $32 each. Benefit has returned 
gimme brow to the market after its recent recall. Not so recent, recent, seems like it's been forever. Available at Ulta in three shades for $24. Also from Benefit, the Pretty in the USA bronzer, brows, blush, and highlighter set includes full sizes of Hula Matte, Dandelion, and Rockateur, plus a mini goof-proof brow pencil for $44. The Blush Bunch bronzer and blush set includes fun sizes of Gold Rush, California, Rockateur, Dandelion, Hula, and Hula Light for $24. $4. And from Laura Mercier's Vivid Cuba Summer Color Story Collection at Bergdorf's, the liquid face illuminator is a lightweight, ultra blendable liquid illuminator, according to them, in two shades Addiction and Seduction, $38. Matte bronzing powder delivers a natural looking warmth to the skin in two shades Soleil One and Soleil Two, $38. Velour Extreme Matte Lipstick is formulated with mattifying powders and silky conditioners in 24 shades for $28. $8. At Estee Lauder's site, Pure Color Envy Eyeshadow Paint is a weightless gel cream color in six shades for $26. From Claire de Peau Beauté, exclusive to Nordstrom, concealer and skincare set, a four-piece set including full-size concealer, SPF 25, softening cleansing foam, hydro softening lotion, and eye contour balm anti-wrinkle for $70. And Kajer Weiss Ethereal Foundation is infused with skincare level elements like organic coconut, jojoba oil, and sweet almond seed oils in 12 shades for $68. Now we're moving over to the drugstore. If I don't say it, people say, what happened to drugstore? It's coming. It's right now. <laughs> CoverGirl has introduced the Queen Katie Cat collection with brand new shades of Katie Cat gloss and glitter lip kits, lush lashes, and two new eyeshadow palettes. Katie Cat palettes have 10 shades each and are available in two shade selections for $10.99. Katie Cat gloss in 12 shades for $8.99. Katie Cat wink lightweight easy to apply false lashes are $7.99. Chocolate lovers, meet your matte. L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Le Chocolat liquid lipstick six shades available for $7.99 at Target. That's some smart marketing right there. From Essence, Kiss the Lipstick has launched with three pH adaptive shades called Kiss the Frog, Kiss the Mermaid, and Kiss the Unicorn, vegan, gluten-free, and cruelty-free at $3.49 each. Will you get them all? And we previewed these a few weeks ago, but now the Pixie Pretties 2018 have launched at Target. Wiley's Pixie Dimensional Eye Creator Kit a Let's Talk Palette Plus Black Liner Duo is $18. Chloe Morello's a Cloette Romantic Radiance is a multi-look palette for $24. And the Pixie and Dulce Candy Eyeshadow Palette or Pixie and Dulce Candy Lip Palette each feature nine shades for $24 each. From Rimmel, Wander Ombre Double-Ended Holograph eyeliner in four shades for $5.49. Brow This Way Palmade comes in three shades for $3.99. Magnifies Eyeshadow Palette Color Edition with 12 shades of $7.99. Moving over to QVC, Eve Pearl Face Therapy Foundation is a multifunctional foundation complexion cream with cosmonutrients like collagen, hyaluronic acid, and acid, and astaxanthin. Think. Choice of five shades paired with a dual contour blender brush for $46 plus their $3 shipping. The full brow fab brow starter kit is for anyone new to the eyebrow game, according to them. Everything you need, wax, powder, and dual ended brush. Choice of four shades for $30 plus $3 shipping. And if you wanted to try the Laura Geller Italian Marble Lipstick and Lip Gloss, QVC has a five piece collection with three lipstick shades and two glossy top coats. Now for $42.12 plus their $3 shipping. And finally, from IT Cosmetics, your perfect naturally pretty glow collection includes Your Skin But Better CC Plus Cream Bronzer, Hello Light Cream Illuminizer, and Heavenly Luxe Dual Ended Complexion Perfection Brush, $49.44 plus $3 shipping at QVC. In Indian cruelty free news this week, Ibby Beauty released their Desert Vibes palette this past week, inspired by California sunsets. The palette contains 12 shades and is cruelty free, paraben, talc, sulfate, and mineral oil free. Available on their site now for $20. And if you're looking for a light accentuating eye palette, then look no further than the Trifle Cosmetics Honeycomb Palette featuring eight iridescent foiled shadows. The palette is vegan and mineral oil, paraben, and gluten free. It's $45. New from Pure Cosmetics this week, the five piece eye polish glitter kit. Each shade offers a no mess solution to glitter shadows for a look that lets you shine all day. According to them, the kit is currently 
currently available on the Pure site for $36. Clarity released two new products this past week. The Five Shades of Melanin collection consists of the shades Melanin, Melanin Chaos, Goddess, Honey Love, and Wakanda. Each shade is $5. The Nova Gel Eyeliners come in five shades as well. Igloo, Eye Catcher, Eye Glam, Eye Candy, and Eye Amazing. Each liner is $6. Bessame relaunched their Cashmere Powder Foundation in a new larger compact and creates a luminous soft focus radiance with flawless coverage, of course, according to Bessame, available in four shades for $35 each. Medusa's makeup introduces a new size for the Cosmic Highlighter. So choose your pleasure. The Super is 10 grams for $12 or the Mini is 4 grams for $10. I know which one I'd choose for $2 more. And BH Cosmetics added another item to the Glam Reflections collection. The Gilded 15 color eyeshadow palette contains a combo of matte and shimmers in a range of shades currently available on the BH site for $15.99. Give Me Glow Cosmetics dropped their Halo Highlighter this week, an electric gold with baby blue undertones. It is a permanent item on their site, so restocks are certain. $17.50. Precious is the new name of Emmy's eyeshadow lineup, a rose gold with a metallic foiled finish for $5.05. Peach Silk is a peachy pink highlighter that appears like champagne with a peach pull for $9.73 without a compact or $12.84 with a compact. Both are vegan, cruelty, talc, and dye free. Also due to a family emergency concerning her father, Emmy, Co Emmy Cosmetics will be closed till further notice. She's asking for good thoughts and lots of support during this difficult time. Davina Cosmetics has released a necessity. Purse Mirror is currently available on their site in five different designs, Chromatic, Kaleidoscope, Mermaid, Spectrum, and Unicorn. Each mirror is currently for sale for $5 each. And after two years, the Prismatic Iridescent Highlighters are back in a bundle. The bundle consists of seven shades and is currently available at a discounted rate of $46 to $75 depending on the pan size. Four new cosmetic grade glitters were added to the Impulse Cosmetic site. All are vegan and cruelty free. Suggested uses over a sticky base. All glitters are now available for $3.99 each. And finally, if you missed the last time they were in stock, then head over to the Espionage Cosmetics site. The cartridge compacts are back on the site. For pre-order, they are $20. And now, here comes your favorite time of the week, the Sneak Peeks Lightning Round in three, Two, one. A new palette is in the work for Glam Light Cosmetics from KKW Beauty. Concealers are launching March 23rd. The Moss Series is coming soon from Elsie. Just in time for the warm weather are the Tropical Matte Shadows coming soon to Medusa Makeup. Last week it was just a guess, but now it is confirmed Melt Cosmetics has a new stack coming. Meet Baby Girl. Highlighters are in the works for Juvia's Place. Kale Polish reveals their spring collection coming soon. And if you missed getting the Soul Look Dirty Dancing Palette, then you will have one more chance in a couple of months. Get them then because this will be the last restock. More details as the restock draws nearer. Genie Glow Highlighter in Diamond Sky is coming soon from KG Beauty. A new bottle for Cream Shadows is in the future for Cindy Grace. Kat Von D announces she's working on a 10th anniversary collection. Pinky Rose wants to know who is ready for brushes coming this month. The new new is on the way from Unicorn Cosmetics. Something new times nine is in the future for Zoeva. And a new palette is coming in spring for Laura Lee Los Angeles. This week in deals, Ulta 21 Days of Beauty starts to day in store or online. Check out these deals this week. Today, look for Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara for just $10. 50% off Philosophy Exfoliating Facial Wash and as an online only perk, half off the Lorac Pro Palette 3. Tomorrow is 50% off It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder, Benefit 24-Hour Brow Setter, and Origins Ginseng Tinted Moisturizer. Tuesday, it's half off deals from Clinique, Pure, and Juice Beauty. Wednesday, look for deals from Smashbox Proactive and Persona. Thursday, it's Clarisonic Buxom and Ico. Friday, Urban Decay, Exuviance, Dr. Brand and Velour Lashes. And Saturday, look for half off Philosophy, Stila, Laura Geller, and a free brow wax from the Benefit Brow Bar with purchase. At the Butter London website, 30% off eye makeup with code WINK30. That's through March 23rd. There's a friends and family sale going on at the Milk Makeup website with code Friends and Fam. Ends tonight, March 18th. Take $5 off a $20 or more purchase of the color 
Color Icon eyeshadow collection at Wet n Wild's website through March 19th. Elf Spring Sale continues with code ELFMAGIC5 for $5 off of $20 through March 23rd. The Sephora Weekly Wow features special deals on Natasha Denona Lip Color Matte or Lip Color Shiny, Murad Invisibler, Seal a Huge Extreme Lash Mascara, and from the Sephora brand, buy three masks, get one free, no code needed. Becca Light Chaser Highlighter in five shades was $24, now $17. And at the Jouer website, the Springtime in Paris bundle or the Essential Matte and Shimmer Eyeshadow Palette bundle, each with an eyeshadow palette, eyeliner, and lip topper is especially priced at $40 each. Philosophy's Hope in a Jar, a multitasking moisturizer loaded with antioxidants, according to Philosophy, is $49.99 in store at Costco. It's $69 at QVC, Nordstrom, and Macy's. The Makeup Eraser 2 Pack is only $19.99 in store at Costco. They are $20 each at Sephora. This is a reusable ultra soft makeup remover cloth that erases makeup with only warm water. At Holt Look this week, Urban Decay is currently 50% off. And finally, keep an eye out for an email from Physicians Formula. PF is giving you and your friends 50% off when you spread the love. Tell your friends about Physicians Formula and they'll get 50% off their first purchase. Plus, you'll get 50% off when each friend places their first order. Check their site for details. Here's some late breaking news we thought you'd want to know. L'Oreal is buying Modiface in a bid to add more apps and services to its digital stable. The Toronto-based Modiface, which has its roots in augmented reality, artificial intelligence, and skin diagnosis for the beauty industry, employs nearly 70 engineers, researchers, and scientists. L'Oreal now spends 38% of its media budget on digital campaigns. Earlier this year, it rolled out a Style My Hair application developed with Modiface, allowing people to see how they would look with different colored dyes. KKW Beauty is about to launch a range of concealer kits in a grand total of 16 shades, seemingly most for lighter skin tones, and the internet replied, non-inclusive. Set to launch on March 23rd, the range is drawing criticism, including a note for Cam to take a page from her sister Kylie's book, whose 30 shade range surpasses this one. EOS, maker of those lip balms in your purse, is about to claim space in your skincare collection. The brand has just launched its Aqua line with six products, including a moisturizer, lip gloss, lip mask, lip scrub, clay mask, and lotion for your thirsty skin. With active ingredients like seaweed extract, sea kelp, and Irish moss, the formulas will serve all skin types available on the EOS. Website. And finally, big news for Ulta, Chanel is about to join their makeup brand lineup. As Rack reports, this is a coup for the retailer who can now make the line available to a younger demographic with visions of an Ulta-specific Chanel line or lower price points dancing in our heads. Are you looking forward to Chanel's arrival? Will this lure in more high-end brands? Leave us a note in the comments. And that's it for What's Up In Makeup this week. I hope you enjoyed it. This is all thank you to the beautiful and talented What's Up In Makeup official reporting team. Their faces are scrolling next to me and the What's Up In Makeup Facebook hunters. Their names are scrolling below me. And of course, to Tabitha B for organizing it all for me. Thank you so much, Tab, and the rest of the team for all that you do. I appreciate you so much. Are you all watching the Makeup Minute Monday through Friday? 60 seconds of news you can use. Once again, we are not including everything in the Makeup Minutes in the Sunday show, so make sure you're watching. We can only fit two things in the thumbnail. Usually there's at least five things in the makeup minute. So I want to make sure you get everything. So make sure you're watching that every Monday through Friday at about noonish. We are having our weekly chat today at 10 a.m. Eastern time. I hope you can join us and come hang out and chat about makeup with us. We do have a great time hanging out and talking and it's just a blast. So I hope you can join us. If this is your first time hanging out with us at What's Up in Makeup, hey, what's up? So nice to meet you. Thank you for being here. Hope you liked the show. If you did, definitely make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you remember to watch next week. We do go live every Sunday morning at 9.30 a.m., barring any huge technical difficulties. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and watching the news this week. I do appreciate it, and I hope that you're enjoying the show. And again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you, whether this is your first or your hundredth episode of What's Up In Makeup Watching. Thank you so much for being here. Mad love, and I will see you in a video very, very soon.